In this video, we are going to look at examples of Kali laughing and mocking the health problems of others while also being extremely sensitive when anyone talks about her own health issues. Let's begin in September, 2021. I go to the ER. I get my fucking ultrasound. I, I tell them about the pain I'm having in my abdomen and my fucking um... And a long story short, my fibroids have all grown. I have more. I know back in 2018, I said I have four or five. I have six plus that are invisible. They've grown. I also have ovarian cysts now. And I'm waiting for them to call and follow me up with a care plan. I have a feeling I know where this is going because we remember my surgery scare in 2018. They were like, they were like, it would do more scarring to my uterus to do the surgery and they were gonna try and avoid that. And um, That goes through shit. So I try to use it as a way yeah. for us to be strong together. Yeah, it's about us. I know I signed off my channel. Yeah, this is my life. And telling my story. <laughs> but it became so many people. <laughs> I know, and I know. That's been more important to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went to urgent care. So I guess my real question is to Amberlynn Reed, why in the hell would you openly, willingly, publicly, with your whole chest, associate and laugh along with a person like Megs, a known racist, a known bigot, a known hateful person? I, I, I guess it's the fact that I get more support than you, Negs, and even Hussey combined. Callie tagged Amber in that story and also in a screenshot of Neg saying something awful in Discord. Amber responded via private DM and Callie shared it in a public video. I don't find that funny at all. Please don't put words in my mouth. Thank you. I didn't realize the way he spoke or thought. I appreciate you telling me, but I sure wish you would have went about it differently. I do not condone this behavior, and since I know how he is, I'll no longer be watching him. This makes me sick. Amber, I'm not putting words in your mouth by demonstrating to you Ned's racist and deplorable history. You're also friendly with Chantal, another woman who said and known hateful and racist things about Charlie Gold, myself, and others. I wish I hadn't seen you. It says my, but I actually meant to say in that chat. So I'm sorry about that typo, you guys. I wish you would have went about things differently as well. Your apology wasn't even directly addressed to me. It was addressed to your audience as an attempt to save face. As a woman who still refers to you as a cancer survivor, backed off during your cancer diagnosis, your hysterectomy, and still respects your infertility issues, my feelings are hurt. My feelings are valid, Amber. You also hurt the audience again by mocking these issues as a survivor yourself. Your actions here are hurtful and wrong, period. Over the weekend, right, obviously I think it was Friday morning, I posted about having to go to the ER, how traumatic that experience was for me. And I was very shaken up and I was very scared and I was very worried because I had been having health issues. I haven't been doing the greatest and I've been fighting through it. And as much as I like to keep the face on, it's been getting harder. And so everything pretty much came to a head. I ended up being rushed to the ER. I went to urgent care and they were like, no, we can't help you here. And they looked so worried, so concerned because of the amount of pain that I was in. And the pain had lasted for two days. And even now and then I do still feel dull aches here and there. However, as of right now, I am feeling much better than what I did then. And I've been managing. I might have to get surgery. I might have to go under certain types of other treatments. I don't really know what that looks like yet. I wanted to come on and tell you guys because I would never just up and disappear on you guys if I could help it and leave everybody wondering in limbo what the tea is, you know? And I was actually a bit overwhelmed by the great support that I got because sometimes 
I am nervous to post things like that. I actually have not posted anything like that to my channel in over a year. It's been a while since I've been really raw and vulnerable with my audience because of past experiences, to be honest. It's always ridiculed, it's always mocked. Y'all, I saw that next at the stream and then Amber hopped her butt up in that chat, right? And was laughing along with him. And you guys have seen this clip. I posted it all over Twitter. In fact, I am the one who blasted this. But I just know for a fact that if I had not came to the forefront and spoke on this and acknowledged it and called it for what it is and called out behavior and called out BS when I saw it, especially in regards to me, you guys know how I always tell you, I have to have my own back. I am the only one that has my own back. That is the truth. I know for a damn fact, if I hadn't have said anything, no one would have said anything. And that's unfortunate. I understand that Nags has his history. I understand that some people genuinely do fear him because of his horrendous history with, you know, doxing, threatening, and harassing. <laughs> I can't afford to be afraid of a person like Nags. In fact, I've dealt with people like Nags before several times on my channel and even in real life. I can't afford to allow some middle-aged man who's balding and bigoted, who lives in the middle of nowhere, Indiana, scare me into silence. I refuse. I'm sorry if you can't relate. I'm sorry if you feel intimidated by that presence, but I just don't. I literally can't afford to. I want to thank Young Don Honey Bun, aka Sarah. And two, Kali said, if I didn't come forward and I didn't say, hey, look everyone, Amberlynn's here laughing at me, this apology would not be here. She wouldn't have apologized. I would also like to mention and give a shout out to Jessie Talks, who is a fellow free spirit, but also has her own channel. Oh, are you talking about someone's actual health issues? Like, you don't know what that pain is. Okay? You can't say that people are walking around every day with back pain and people you don't know what that pain is you i'm gonna say this don't have a uterus so you don't know what endometriosis pain feels like you don't know what cysts in your uterus and in your cervix and in your fallopian tubes you don't know what that feels like. I understand that some people want me to ignore these things and move on. Honey, how long have I ignored a lot of this crap? And it led me right to the circus. I, I, I refuse, especially in regards to racism, especially in regards to harassment, especially in regards to, I mean, even sexual harassment, all these things that I've been subjected to and the target of, I refuse because if I cower in fear, and if I run away with my tail between my legs, and especially if I know that I'm going to have my own back, if I can't even have my own back, I can't expect anyone to defend me. I am demonstrating an example publicly that it's okay to cower in fear with my tail behind my legs like I'm some weakling. I'm sorry, I cannot relate. I know it's hard for a lot of people to say and do things with their chest, but I understand that that's why I am hated and disliked. I'm not afraid. I don't care. And that is a huge, huge personality difference between Amber and I. After she put out this public apology, it was not a non-apology. It was a, I would say a PR stunt to save face for her audience because, oh my goodness, she's been caught in Nexus chat. He has all of that toxic mess attached to his name. Oh my goodness, we cannot let Erwin Reed be caught and have that attached to her name, even though she was living for it. And it's unfortunate because there's no way in hell that you could have clicked 80 seconds into that stream and not known what it was about. Uh, we're going to watch Callie's entire video and we're going to be her gynecologist for the next 35 uh, minutes, okay? Like, sad girl or shit. I have not been doing the greatest for like a really long time. <laughs> and everything's just like really coming to a head and that's just really honest. And I'm working up my tears. I hate that like I got into the space of being afraid to be vulnerable and, 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 and like And as a woman, Amberlyn Reed, it's a disgrace. And what makes it worse, Amber, is the fact that you yourself are a cancer survivor. 
you yourself, you are also a woman who is still dealing with infertility issues. I don't mock you for that. And I know one of the questions that Becky got was about having a future with children, right? And guess what? I was like, hmm, I understand the crying could have been for attention, but maybe the crying was being triggered genuinely as a horrible reminder that she might not be able to have kids, right? That is triggering, that is hard. And you wanna know something, even though I do still have my uterus, even though I do still have my uterus, I'm triggered by that, I am. I hate fibroids, I hate scoliosis, I hate everything that I deal with. And I can understand on a deeper level just how hard hitting those topics are. But it's really interesting how the same woman who I show genuine empathy towards and genuine sympathy towards and support towards and the same woman who I showed these emotions towards and yeah, I've been shady. Yes, I've given my criticism, but I've also shown a lot of courtesy because Amber is a lot of things. She's a liar. She's a manipulator. She does have a horrible history and she has a horrible pattern. But you want to know what else Amber is? She is also a human being. I do have common courtesy for human beings. Even when I've spoken about Negs, even when I've spoken about CJ, even when I've spoken about whoever in the hell else, girl. I mean, Repzilla T, girl. Ch anybody. Aaron Carter. Anyone. Even MGK. <laughs> MGK disrespected me to my face. I still respect them as human beings. I never go below the belt because I know what it feels like when it's done to me. To whoever you want to make your content on or give your opinion on in a way that is not degrading, insulting, and ridiculing others and mocking them. Because if you have to stoop that low, you make a non-point. She was so happy just to see a stream about one of her haters. We've caught you admitting in the past, on past live streams, that you like Negs. I like Negs. Someone super chatted you and asked you what you thought about me, and you were like, oh, I don't watch her on, da, 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 da. I barely even know who she is. Amber, we've DM'd before. Amber, I offered to give you advice on your Patreon. Amber, I used to be a supporter of yours. Defending you! M my goofy ass! Because I literally, for a short period of time, luckily it did not last long, but I genuinely was starting to believe, oh my God, they bully this woman because she's fat. I, for one brief second in time, believed in hook, line, and sinker, your narrative. And I ran with it. And I'm so happy I woke up. And it's a shame that these people, Amberlynn Reed, Chantal, Negs, whoever in the hell else, get off on mocking others in their struggles, even when other people show them grace, especially when it's the same people, because it shows that they're happy and they gloat in others' misery. They gloat in others' misfortune. And that is one of the worst traits to have as a human being. That is glorifying and admiring human suffering. That is sadistic. Honey, I can wipe myself. Honey, I have never abused Nan partner of mine. In fact, some of my exes won't be bad. Let's just go ahead and be honest. I do not have a reputation that perceives me in such a negative light. In fact, I have built more of a solid reputation and more of a solid background than you, Amber, in what, seven to eight years? I did it in like, what, three? And you should be ashamed of yourself. And so, once again, I don't accept your apology. And I don't care what else you try to tell me in DMs. You will not manipulate me. You will not lie to me. And you will not spin a narrative along with Negs against me. Because I will call it out. Even if I have to go live again. And you should be ashamed. I thought that your cancer diagnosis and your hysterectomy were the, the worst and your, your rock bottom. But you displayed that that's not the truth. You displayed that you haven't even seen your rock bottom yet. You should be ashamed, Amber.
You should be ashamed, Amber. I never go below the belt. You should be ashamed, Amber. And so you want to know what happens normally when I set boundaries on this platform. And let's say they were an avid supporter of mine. And let's say they used to tag me or even possibly be in my DMs. Hell, that I, this person might have even made fan. Are they into the anime BS? I don't know. And they also have pots, uh, which... I, I, the, the lack of brain oxygen is 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 apparent. Um, when I set boundaries and when I tell people I don't want anything to do with them anymore, this is what happens. But this person's engaged, so um, this person's engaged, so uh, A.K. You know, other tragic, not my tragic. Um, you know, this person has pots, and even though the lack of brain oxygen is real, I'd love to find out who their fiance is because uh, I think they need to know that uh, they might got the hots for someone else. I mean, I would hate, I would hate for their fiance to find out that they have the hots for me. I mean, I'm not trying to break a home. AK, their fiance needs to know. Their fiance, the, like, I think that the fiance, I, I was, shit, if I dedicated my damn uh, social media to another anybody you know i'm not even engaged right now but my baby was like well what the fuck <laughs> oh yeah look at that i dedicated my damn uh social media to another anybody what the fuck What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, okay, I, th I think the fiance needs, yeah. But, you know, you know, just just catch her on a day, just catch her on a day where, you know, the pots has taken over and maybe the oxygen levels are even lower. And you know what's crazy? With this woman having pots and, and fainting every 10 seconds, can you imagine fainting every 10 seconds and then getting up to see if I posted? So you can't even get on your oxygen tank. You can't even get your balance well enough. You can't even stabilize because you're worried about me posting. But can you imagine getting up? The Kelly post, oh shit. She, she, oh she said it. <laughs> now she's being similar with the eggs. She talking to DC? <laughs> that goes through shit. So I try to use it as a way yeah. for us to be strong together. Yeah, because it's about us. I know I started off my channel. Yeah, this is my life. And doing my story. <laughs> it became so many people. I know, I know. That's been more important to me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I am not going to be responsible for whatever percussions might happen after showing this live stream. I don't give a damn, okay? <laughs> she just showed me. That's not my responsibility, okay?
All right, and I'll take an even longer break just to prove it. <laughs> All right. All right. It, it ain't my, it ain't, nope. I mean, <laughs> literally. <laughs> stay alive. All right, stay alive over there. Okay, I see you. All right. I hope you stay awake. Have you stayed awake long enough for the live stream? We we might be. Is your fiance there? Why you over there? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? What are you doing? Can somebody tell my fiance this woman is gonna steal me out? I never said that. Okay, the fiance. I. You see how they girl? Did I say that I was gonna take her from? See, you see how they switch shit? Now she's trying to act like I want her. Bitch, I don't know what you look like. You know what I look like, you weird bitch. <laughs> can you imagine being stalked in real time? I can. I've been stalked in real time by several people at once. You are streaming on a public platform where anyone in the world can click and watch this nonsense. You are not being stalked. Don't stream, post or talk about things that you don't want other people to discuss and share. If you want certain things about your life to remain private, then keep it private. You made an entire living off of talking about ALR. Did ALR go around saying you stalked her because you watched her live streams or videos? No, she didn't. Why is this such a complicated concept for you? I truly don't understand. Girl, you got my day drunk but dead over here. Well, hopefully you ain't over there passing out like this. All right, this one, this one don't even need a drink. <laughs> this one wakes up in the morning. Bop. AK, I, this is AK's problem now. Um, yeah, I, I can't. I, uh, just have to let me know. I'm watching. Woke up from pots. Woo! <laughs> This is my time. <laughs> there's just there's so much more to life. Please touch grass, please, please. I mean, I understand you might faint on the grass. You're safer fainting on the grass and fainting all around your house from watching me. I tr trust. Grass is soft. All right. Okay. I don't know what the hell is gonna help with your goddamn pots. I don't even know about that shit. I just know you're fainting every ten seconds thinking about me. That can't be healthy. Please. All right. All right, you got to stay alive for the next post, babe. <laughs> you should be ashamed, Amber. It led me right to the circus. Mm -hmm.